Do you remember the Boring Company Tunnel? It was supposed to be a huge invention. The concept promised a revolutionary method of transportation throughout highly populated cities. For the past decade, engineers have been trying to build a more efficient system to transport mass amount of citizens through urban centers while reducing traffic and emissions. Much like Boring Company's Hyperloop, the tunnels being carved under cities, promptly named the Loop, have grinded to a halt and not much have been heard about them since their initial buzz. So the main question is, what happened to the Loop? In December of 2016, Elon Musk sent out a tweet stating, quote, Traffic is driving me nuts. I'm going to build a tunnel boring machine and just start digging, dot dot dot. And in a follow-up tweet shortly after, he wrote, quote, I am actually going to do this. With that vision in mind, the boring company was born. With a more refined idea, the website states, The boring company creates safe, fast-to-dig, and low-cost transportation, utility, and freight tunnels. The mission, solve traffic, enable rapid point-to-point point transportation and transform cities. Basically, the idea is to have regular transportation underneath cities instead of above ground methods such as driving cars on a regular street, taking the train, streetcars, buses, and more. The concept is hard not to get excited about. Imagine you're living in a giant metropolitan city such as Los Angeles or Toronto, both of which are infamous for their insane traffic. Now imagine your late 10 event and cars begin stopping in front of you. All you can see is endless bumper to bumper traffic, but there's an alternative route that starts to alleviate the congestion. You drive down into a loop tunnel, turn off your car, and you simply begin to fly towards your destination with ease, and you show up on time. Sounds like a dream. And so far, it's just that. Much like all of his other companies, it's a bold vision. Elon Musk's tunnels have been planned in cities all over the country, from Maryland to Chicago to California. But it seems like local municipal governments have been ghosted after being approached about building the projects. For example, in January of 2022, Ontario, California was sent an unsolicited pitch from the Boring Company. The local transportation authority felt as if they had stumbled upon a golden ticket. Officials had previously started planning for an above-ground rail to connect the busy Ontario International Airport and a commuter train station four miles away, with an estimated cost very high. For a mega discount of just $45 million, Musk's Boring Company offered instead to build an electric underground tunnel which travelers could zoom back and forth, riding inside of an electric autonomous vehicle. Elated by the idea of using tunnels and also working with the billionaire who's the head of Tesla, the San Bernardino County Transportation Authority dumped plans for a traditional light rail and embraced the futuristic tunnel. When it came time to formalize and finalize the partnership to work, the Boring Company decided to go underground and not respond. Just like they had done in Maryland, Chicago, and Los Angeles, the company ended up not sending in a bid to Ontario for the January 2022 deadline. The Boring Company has yet to make good on its ambitious pitch of being able to design tunnel boring machines that are so fast to operate that they will drive down costs and shake up the industry. Veterans of the tunnel industry question some of Elon's extensive claims. And on the other hand, Elon questions the tunnel industry veterans with flamethrowers. He blames the government officials for slow progress, calling their regulators an impediment to building new infrastructure. But many people think that's simply a way to deflect internal issues within the company. With all of these issues and acquisitions, the company still has many believers. In the spring of 2022, venture capital firm giant Sequoia Capital and Vi Capital led a $675 million fundraising round that valued Boring at a cool $5.7 billion. Sequoia partner Sean McGuire wrote this on the company website. Their technology is now past state of the art, and it's improving at an exponential rate. Improving or not, the fact is that the only tunnels that currently exist are 2.8 miles single direction tunnels under the Las Vegas Convention Center, as well as a small offshoot that can take riders to the resort's world casino and hotel. This partnership with Las Vegas costed $50 million and opened in the spring of 2022. When you arrive at the tunnel on either end, Teslas with hired drivers pilot passengers through neon lit tunnels at speeds of a measly 30 miles an hour. Not terribly impressive. We're fans of the Boring Company, said Steve Hill, chief executive of Las Vegas Conventions and Visitors Authority. We're fans of clean transportation systems that are great, so we want to help. 
Looking forward to the future, the Clark County and Las Vegas City Government Councils have approved a 34-mile loop of tunnels that the Boring Company will finance. Casino and resort owners are being asked to pay for stations as it will directly benefit their businesses. The Boring Company signed a 50-year contract to create and operate the Vegas Loop and will be collecting revenue from ticket sales, sharing a small percentage with the city and county after crossing a specifically quarter revenue level. To obtain the permit to actually begin operating the convention loop, the Boring Company had to run a demonstration that it could move 4,400 passengers within an hour. Boring test the past and received its permit in a category called ATS for amusement and transportation systems, the same one that local officials award to roller coasters. Other Boring Company projects were announced with excitement, including a 3.6-mile underground high-speed transportation link from the Hollywood subway line to Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles. This project uh, also failed to materialize. Some sites where the Boring Company once held a massive amount of public attention are now abandoned. If you remember the video where the first demonstration tunnel was shown, it now sits behind a chain link fence near SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California. Where city leaders once hailed the arrival of a boring research operation, stacks of concrete lining segments sit together in a section of the tunnel, which is blocked off with plywood amid warning signs not to enter. Regardless of the company's track record, which is shaky at best, other states are still lining up for the potential transportation infrastructure. In Fort Lauderdale, Mayor Dean Trentalis is pointing towards the availability of funding as he tries to sell the public on a $100 million pair of boring company tunnels that would transport tourists and citizens alike back and forth from downtown. The mayor was apparently a part of Boring's Las Vegas project tour and was awestruck at the technology. North Miami Beach officials want to use federal infrastructure money to pay Boring for a tunnel project with the intent to reduce traffic. On a whim, Vice Mayor Michael Joseph tweeted at the Boring Company and Elon Musk in February of 2021. Company officials quickly expressed interest. Quote, they just called me out of nowhere and said, hey, this is boring. I was very surprised that they responded to my tweet. The Boring Company has been around for a while now, but it doesn't actually seem like much has really happened. The company has a lot of potential in its ideas, but it seems to be lacking in communication, following through on promises, and actual logistics of getting the projects done. What do you think about the Boring Company and their loop projects? Would you pay for the loop if it was in your city? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.